Hi, good morning. This is Mike Lodge. I am the business advisor. You notice I've got my hoodie on and I'm I'm all warm and nice. It's cold in this office. I mean, it is freaking cold. It's amazing. I just returned from Houston, Texas last night. Now, when I left, it was about 91. And I got back here and it's 43 degrees in the morning. Big difference. But... It's good to be home, but I've been going through a thought process. Is Greenville really right for me? I want to grow my business. I want to get more clients. Greenville is kind of limited. We have just a little over 200,000 people here. It's a beautiful place. I love it here. I mean, it's gorgeous. I, I love the home I'm in. I love looking outside in the morning and seeing the beautiful forest in the back and the moss on the ground and every everything and it's a very nice experience but to grow a business in a small town if you're not part of the good old boy network it's very difficult the other issue is that my licensing does not apply to south carolina all of my work is done in about 30 other different states South Carolina limits my practice of mediation. Um, unless you're an attorney here, that's the only people that can do mediation. So all of my mediation work is done in the state of Washington, in California, in Texas, in all different places. So as I was gather about gather about, as my dad used to say, running around Houston, I begin to notice that. The city was really alive. If you look at Greenville, it's alive in spots in certain times. But if you're not in this group or if you're, or if you're not in that, as I say, good old boy network, it's very difficult to get new clients in a small town like this. Now, I have clients all over the, all over the United States. So luckily, I'm not limited to my, to what I'm doing here, but it's just for my business, I feel as though that I need to be in a more lively setting. I've already talked to the mediation groups in in Texas, and I know what to expect there, and I know how to practice there because I'm already conducting mediations there um, you know on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. So I'm busy there. And I'm busy in California, and I'm busy in uh, other states, Florida. I'm busy in Florida. But I need to be able to grow my business even more on a one-on-one -on -one basis so that they're coming into my office, we're sitting down, and we're talking, and we're resolving conflict, or we're talking about business issues that need to be focused on. As a business advisor and, and as a coach, I need that one-on-one -on -one, uh meditation you know i love zoom i do everything by zoom my whole office system is set up on zoom but i need that one-on-one -on -one, uh, experience again and so i've been as as i rode around houston i was looking at the lay of the landscape if you want to say i thought you know i felt comfortable in houston it felt like going home and it felt like I could get a, get around Houston. I could meet people better there. So this is the conflict that I'm having of leaving South Carolina that is so beautiful and so serene, and I like it here, and going to a busy city, being able to live on the outskirts and be able to commute into the city when I wanted to, or stay here. And not worry about any business in South Carolina. Instead, continue working nationwide with clients. But I've come to the point where since the, since the pandemic and since up to today, meeting people has really been cut off. It's just opened up over the last year and a half. And... It's very difficult for me to visualize new business here. 
I am a big city guy. I came from Los Angeles. I'm used to the big city. I'm used to the fast pace of life. I'm used to being able to uh, associate with various groups of people almost on a daily basis. Here in South Carolina, I'm really confined to my house because I'm not meeting any new individuals. I'm confined. There's not really that great of a prospect that I see here or that has been shown to me anyway. And I have, listen, I have advertised this market in South Carolina daily, daily for the last two and a half years that I've been here. But my core business comes from Texas. I do so much mediation work in Texas. And I do a lot of business advisory work in Texas and in Florida, as I said before, and in California. And even all the way up to Seattle, I have done work and I'm continuing to do work. But I, I need that ability to sit down face to face, person to person and conduct business again. I've got to get back to that. And I don't believe I'm going to be able to do it here in Greenville. I might be wrong, but that's after two years, that's how I feel at the moment. I love Greenville. So don't think that I don't love Greenville. I do love Greenville. But I think I like Houston just a little bit more because it's got, well, it's got a lot of action that's going on there. And then you have Dallas that's very close by, and you've got all those other cities that you can do work in. And not only that, but it's it's the friendships that are there. It's it's uh, maybe the, maybe even the ability to sit down with businesses on a on a daily basis and a weekly basis. I really want that again. One of the things that I miss is going into my office every single day when I had it in in Los Angeles, going into my office every single day. Sitting down and talking to staff, sitting down and talking to clients, sitting down and working with them face to face, joking, laughing, talking seriousness. I opened up an office here in Greenville about four years ago when I was coming back and forth because I was rebuilding my mom's house in Pickens, South Carolina. And I opened up the office there. And I found that it wasn't uh, it wasn't stimulating enough. And stimulation is so important when you're in business. You have to have that stimulation. Now, I I provide stimulation every single day to my clients, and I talk to them every single day. But I need that stimulation also. I need to see the eyeballs, I need to see the mouth moving, I need to see the hand gestures going. I need that. I need that stimulation. I know it's probably sad to say, say, well, what are you talking about moving away from a beautiful place like Greenville? Well, I need the stimulation, and I'm just not getting the stimulation that I want out of Greenville. I love it here, but I need stimulation. I think better when I'm being stimulated by visual contact, by verbal contact, by everything else. I need that stimulation. I usually sit here in my office talking to people globally and also throughout the United States via Zoom, but it's just not the same. By the way, my dog's always sitting over on my couch in my office, but I need that stimulation. So... I'm in this quandary. So if you're from Houston, tell me what's great about Houston. Tell me what you love about Houston. Communicate with me. Tell me what it's about. Because stimulate me. Tell me what stimulates you about Houston, Texas. I tell you, it's a big decision when you decide to move. It's a big time decision. Because... Listen, I'm by myself, so I've got to pack all this up by myself. And that's a lot of work. I don't know if you've ever packed a house before in your life. But when you have a big house with bedrooms and furniture and dining room sets and everything, artwork 
that has to come down on, off the wall and packed away. And I tell you, it is it's a tough situation. But it's a decision. I don't know. What do you think when you sit back and you say, okay, I need to move because of business. What is going through your head? Mine is logistics, timing, finding a place to live, finding a nice office to work out of if I if I want to go that direction. There are so many different things that go through your mind. And then announcements that you're going to be moving to a different place. The the design, the 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 mobility of moving your office. Well, that's my a dilemma today is thinking through the process. And if you want to do some mentoring to me, and if you want to tell me how you made that move to Houston, let me know. I want to hear from you because I think it's important that, that we all learn from each other. It's a great, it's a great way to make new contacts. It's a great way to learn. Every day is a learning learning experience, isn't it? I learn every single day. Today, I'm finishing up my 24 hours of CPE for my tax license in California. So I'm studying for that, and I'm, I have to complete it by tomorrow. Lots of things in life, right? How to prioritize, how to think things through, how to lead, how to make sure that we're making good decisions for our business. That's it for today. Listen, if you have a business question, send it in to me at the at the business advisor at gmail.com. Again, that's the business advisor at gmail.com. Or if you want to sit down and talk with me about business uh, issues confidentially, you can book me online, which is at www.lodge-co.com. So if you look right here, right here, all that information is there for you to see. Again, the website's www.lodge-co.com and my email for questions is thebusinessadvisor at gmail.com. Everybody go and have a great day. I'll talk with you soon. We're getting close to Halloween. Bye-bye.